With the pandemic in full swing in 2020, death and chaos were always present. At this time, I began a series investigating life and death themes in black and white linoleum prints. Hell, Bardo, the Age of Cali, the Peaceable Kingdom. I also wanted to create very colorful prints that had the same impact as a painting and would require a very large size. I began to focus on a seminal literary classic, Dante's Inferno. As the pieces are quite large, I decided to start with the drawing to the same scale as the finished piece. This allows me to see how the composition will end up at this size. This drawing is where I work out all the concepts and ideas. It's very important that the drawing is as complete as possible or the plate will not work correctly. I spent a lot of time drawing and erasing and changing until I'm satisfied I have something for a plate. This drawing will get transferred directly to the PVC plate where I still make more additions and changes. The carving of the plate is finished after the drawing is transferred, but I still need to make changes in the drawing, so the process is carving and drawing and carving a little more. As the lines vary, I use different types of tools, wider lines or thinner lines, and I also use tools to eliminate large areas of material. The effect of eliminating material in the background is as important as what remains on the plate. I used a background to show movement and texture. The PVC material for the plate is hard to carve, but the limitations of this establishes a style that I like. Then I decide the colors I want to use. A series of rings or circles, each of which has a different color that represents the nine levels of hell. This part is painted directly on the canvas. When it's time to print, I need the help of other people, and I have been lucky to work with very talented artists who share this experience. 
The first print of this series needed four people and took seven hours to print. Once the plate is inked, we need to place the plate on the registration marks. It's very important we do this correctly, because if it's wrong, the print will be incorrect. We spend a lot of time to do this well. When we have the plate ready, we roll the canvas on the plate. The canvas is heavy, so it stays in place. Then we need to rub behind the canvas to transfer the ink onto the canvas. There is no method of determining how much rubbing is enough or how much we need. We inspect the canvas as we go along and rub more as necessary. The time to complete this is approximately five hours. Seeing it put on the wall for the first time is when we can see the full image completed. It's always wonderful to see it finished and on the wall. At this time, there is only small details to finish.